I give a little bit of an explanation because in the last uh, video of how to carry yourself, I, I explained what real Viking culture was and how we were the great civilizing force on this planet. But we've also always been the arm of justice. That's how you see us show up. These faggots think they're vampires. Those pointy molars and pointy uh, canines simply are God's people. That's why they're called canines. Um, we've always had pointy teeth because when we used to go trading countries, people would tell us who was raiding their villages, who was causing problems, who the trash and the dregs were that would come and kidnap children or hurt people, molest people, and we would conduct raids on the encampments that were uh, robbers and criminals and trash that would come and harass the, the citizens and the people in those places when we would visit. Um, that's why we always had the best trade goods because not only did we go and trade but we would raid all the robber settlements and all the fucking trash that would come and cause problems. So the raid culture has been uh, incessantly laid throughout the game from a bug's life where you get killed with cans of raid to if you're a criminal in this dimension and you prey on innocence how you get raided by the police. The gods raid culture has always existed. We would conduct Viking raids on encampments of people known to prey on innocence and the civilians where we would go. That's why we were always so loved because we'd show up and have armies and fucking destroy anything that was not the way it was supposed to be or that was harming the people. So I wanted to clarify that over the last video I just put out. Uh, these people are foolish. If you can't see the beauty of this world that you're in and, and, and just the basic beauty uh, of the way I'm explaining this to you, um, I mean, it's really quite a simple and beautiful thing. So don't allow yourself to get worked up and cranked up uh, over stupidity because it really is just stupidity. Um, things are balancing themselves out. All these fake professionals that are in our miss are about to feel the pain. Um, you know, they fell for they fell for the breadcrumbs from the beginning. As I stated in earlier videos, internal affairs is the toughest thing to catch dirty cops because dirty cops hide. They're trained in the in the same tactics that law enforcement uses to maintain order within the ranks and actually to make sure that a bad name isn't given to the police. And now these cocksuckers, just like they wanted to make the medical industry look like a pill a pill mill and that we live in a narco state when really it was felons with prescription pads. They did the same thing with law enforcement. They took and faked a bunch of credentials, went and applied to be a cop and they did it and they pulled it off. And their goal from within the ranks of law enforcement was to destroy it so that there would be no more rule of law and civility and inequality. They, these, these are people that want to prey on innocence. The God system has always protected innocence, has always protected the taxpayer or the working class against incursions from the cops and robbers theater. You were never supposed to, might occasionally get broken, your house broken into or something like that, but you were not meant to be um, targeted by financial crimes and other things like that. And these idiots that infiltrated law enforcement thought that they were going to destroy that, that they were going to take over... Um, from within and then cause shootings and other things so that people began to hate the police and pull it apart so that there was no more law and order and civility between the civilization and the people and the and law enforcement itself. Um, and the, the beauty of it all is, is we've been on to them since day one and watching very closely their actions. Um, and basically my culture has always given you the rope to hang yourself. Uh, it is definitely a hangman culture. So when you figure that out and that you've been being watched from day one and you picked up the breadcrumbs as we presented them to you, proving that you are still just trash, that has no self-control, um, what would possess a person who is able to successfully infiltrate something to not live a normal life? Although then again, I, they're buttoned from day one, so I don't even think if they wanted to, that's not the type of system where you'd ever be able to have a normal life. But I wanted to clear up that raid culture so people understand truly what raid culture is. Because once you, once you get it and you see the symbology, if you've had been wronged in this world or hurt, understand there's raids being conducted every second between the bug's life and uh, the people preying on people that are uh, commonplace citizens.